Hello there, good evening. And we start with the breaking news tonight that nine people, including two children and three police officers, have been injured in what firefighters are calling uh, a corrosive incident in south-west London. Well, the incident happened in Clapham in south London just before half past seven this evening. A statement from the London Fire Brigade says they provided immediate emergency care to a woman and to two children. Police are tonight describing it as an horrific incident. Three other people, all adults, were taken to hospital for injuries that they suffered, the police said, as they came to aid the woman and her two children. Three police officers have also been taken to hospital after they responded to the incident. They're thought to have suffered minor injuries. And just a quick statement from Labour's London Assembly member for Lambeth and Southwark. Posting on X, this is Marina Ahmed, there has been a traffic collision with a man assaulting occupants in a car and throwing acid. Victims include children, the, uh, the image of the car. Uh, you can presumably see on your screen now. So let's go to Sabah Chowdhury, who's in Clapham for us tonight. And uh, certainly um, a, a number of people taken to hospital then, Sabah. Good evening, Anna. Indeed, so far what we know is that nine people uh, have been treated by uh, the ambulance service. That includes about uh, five, five individuals taken to a major trauma centre, three to a local hospital, and then there was one person treated at the scene. Among those individuals uh, we know included a uh, mother and her two children and three police officers. Now, what exactly happened uh, on this road behind me here in Lambeth? We don't yet know that an investigation is ongoing, but police have said uh, in a statement that they are investigating what they think or what they're calling a corrosive substance. Uh, and as you can uh, maybe see behind me, there is a car as well, a white car, uh, which police have also uh, been uh, investigating. We don't yet know uh, the involvement uh, of the car and how it plays into the e equation. But uh, as the hours uh, go on into the night, some more information uh, may come to light. Now, so far, no arrests have been made, but the Metropolitan Police have have said that a man was seen fleeing uh, the scene um, and that work is ongoing to locate this individual. And they are also calling on members of the public, potential witnesses, to come forward with any information they may have to aid this ongoing investigation. Sabah, thanks very much indeed. And the latest from Detective Superintendent Alexander Castle. Uh, while tests are ongoing to determine what the substance is at this stage, we believe it to be a corrosive substance. Uh, and they will give an update, they say, on the conditions of the injured people as soon as they can. As Sabah said there, a man was seen fleeing the scene. And the National Police Air Service, the helicopter presumably, uh, are currently assisting the police as well um, as they try to track that person down.